we were having dinner with some friends and we were just talking about the, the current social state of America. And we started talking about the Black Lives Matter movement, Colin, Kaepern Colin Kaepernick's protest. This was before the killings of, of Terrence Crutcher and Keith Lamont Scott. We were just having these, the, these conversations with, with other educated black individuals just trying to, to come up with a, a collective consensus on what we can do, both us as, as, as a, the black community, but others as well. Right. And the conversation shifted to toxic masculinity. Mm -hmm. And the four women in the room all were singing the same tone and get it and got it and understood. And there was three of us men who were in the room and we took a natural defensive stand. Yep. And it was because we didn't understand it. We were looking so hard to, to find this proof mm -hmm. of understanding what you were saying. And as they were explaining it, we were we kept coming back with questions just like, well, what I don't what is this? Well, what is that? Well, why do you say this? And every woman was in full agreement. And the three of us men were just sitting there like, huh. It's not that you didn't even want to believe us, it's that you you almost needed proof. It, it was. We it did. was like you needed proof, and it, it was very enlightening for me too because I'm like, wow, here these are black men. You guys experience this on a racial level, but yet it does not translate to to gender roles. You don't you don't understand it. D and, gender discrimination. And as as the com don't. as the conversation kept going and kept going, I just took a step back and I said, in that moment, I said, I feel like a white male. Mm -hmm. And one of the women in the room was just like, wow. And what it showed me was as, as someone who doesn't understand what's going on. I, I don't know what it's like to be a woman. I don't, I don't know all the nuances that come with it. But for just as a man, I'm programmed to need that burden of proof of constantly saying, well, why, 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 why? Mm -hmm. And I can fully understand it on as a black man when it comes to race. And so when I when I put myself in in a white person's shoes and constantly needing this validation, it's because you can't fully understand it, right. and because you don't see it, you don't feel it, you don't believe it. Not necessarily that you don't believe it, but because it's not happening to you, you need tangible, full, right. bulletproof evidence that says, "Okay, now I get it." Right. And it was at that moment where I was just like, "Shit, we have a long." Way, a long to go. way to go because if this is how I'm feeling as a man when it comes to, to, to conversations about toxic masculinity and, and the different things that women have to experience at the hands on of a men daily basis. On, a, on a daily <laughs> yeah weekly monthly double yearly yeah. basis mm -hmm. and I had to see the self deconstruction that I would need to do what is it like for for, for a white man who has grown up in, 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 in an era of privilege right. where all these in things- In the position we of all the power. Where we discuss what's going on when you can't see it. Mm -hmm. And, it, and, it, and it, it deflated me even more because I just felt like if this is what every person has to do is a complete and total self deconstruction of everything that you have been socially programmed to believe, there's no way that anytime soon that we will be anything close to a post-racial society.